Right, today we're just covering um, something that over in class last time, which was records. This is based on the 2019 higher paper question 11. So if you want to have a look at question 11, you can just get some idea behind it. As part of question 11, it asks us to create a suitable record structure. And it then asks us to go ahead and create um, suitable details, an array of records, basically. Um, and then it wants us to find the maximum speed. So my intention is to do all these things um, just in a little program and just kind of get it to work through from there. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got. So first of all, what we're going to do is start off with um, setting up our, our basic program. So you'll see I've got one already here, but we're just going to do it. So... Um, Okay, so step one, or task A, was to set up basic record structure. So we do that by doing the following. So we do import, sorry, we do from data classes, import data class, and then add data class. Okay, now you'll notice I'm doing this in the global space up the very top. So we're going to have car data and we're going to have speed, which is a float. And we're going to have acceleration, which is an integer. We're going to have brake. Which is an integer. And we're going to have seatbelt. Which is Boolean. Okay, so that's the first question. You know, use the language of choice. How do you set a record? But there we go. There's one record structure. Now, what that allows us to do is to basically create a record. Uh, of car data, but obviously it's not much use just having one car. You know, we could do like uh, for the score equals car data, and then we put in the speed, but that's no use. So what we want to do is go on to create an array of records. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a little bit up here. Okay. And set up an array of records. What we do is we give it a name, readings, equals, and it's an array, and we put in car data, oh, better spell it right here, uh, car data, brackets, and then we're going to give it all the start values, so uh, speed is going to be zero, acceleration is going to be zero, brake is going to be zero, and seatbelt, well, I think I'll just set that to false, so it's got a default start value. Okay. And then we do for X in range, and then however many it was. Now, for this particular question, it was 200 readings we had to store. So we just put X in range 200. Okay. And let's just go ahead and do this. 2019. Uh, So if I hit run, it doesn't crash. That's always nice when it does that. So what you've got now is you can see that this is working as a reading. Okay, so this is now the record, and this is an array of record of card data. But then it goes on to say, right, what we want to do is um, we want to uh, find out what the maximum speed was, I think. So I'm going to have to have some data. Now, I'm not going to capture data, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call a new one called Take Readings. Okay, and I'm going to pass in readings. Uh, 
Okay. Death. Excuse me. Greetings. And then put random. Okay, and all I'm going to do is use a wee for loop. So for x in range 200. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to set readings in here. Alright, so uh, there's 200 readings. So I'll, I'll put in some different ones. So readings x uh, dot speed equals random dot rand int uh, 100, 0 to 155. That sounds about right. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for each one, but I'm going to change each one. So, oops. So we've got acceleration. Caps logs on. We've got the brake. And we already know those are 100. And the last one is the seatbelt. Oh, I'm putting the wrong bracket on. You could have told me that earlier. Because I was I'm working with this array. Now, you won't have seen this before, but don't worry about it. This is just how I can choose from a list. I'm just going to put random choice, brackets, square brackets, true, come up, false. Okay, so it's just going to let us pick from that bit. And it does that, runs 200 times, and we're going to return out readings. So if we run it, if it's crashed, can you prove it's doing what it's meant to? Well, if I stick reading this down here, nope. Uh, if I stick reading this down here, readings equals. Da, 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 da. Oh, of course, because it was inside main. Um, for three readings in there, you'll see it's working. Right, so. The next one says we want to work out what the maximum speed is. So how do we do a max speed with this array data type? So it's exactly the same as before, right? So all I'm going to do is print max speed is comma find max readings okay so I need a new function called find max so def main find max um, as well do properly readings okay so uh, max speed equals readings first position dot speed okay so whatever it is at the first position that then becomes a max so it then becomes for x in range 1 to 200 if readings x dot speed is greater than max speed okay then max speed is assigned readings x dot speed that 
runs for the 200 times, and at the end of it, we want to return max speed. Okay. Uh, def main find max reading. Oh, def main find max reading, really. Find max is a capital. Uh, find max capital M. So the maximum speed is 155. And it's always going to say 155 because, or 154 that time, there's 200 readings and there's a limited number of ranges of the max speed can be. So obviously, if I increase that max speed up to, well, let's go for 220. We'll take in the amazing Jaguar into this speed. Then it says max speed is that. And what we can also do is we can store the position if we want it up here. And then we can display all the car information at that position. All right, so that's just a simple modification we would make to find max. So that is the question pretty much in a nutshell. Let's see what it actually said in it. It said... Um, yeah, using design technique, algorithms find the maximum speed. So that's us. That's a question. So that's a basic record handling question where this is how we set up a record. Okay. This is what we do to create an array of that record type. And then when we are want to find it, we pass in just the array. And all we're doing is we're looking at the position in that array and we're looking at the speed for that item. And then the whole thing just kind of works and does what we want it to. There we go. So 220, 220. Oh, they're all speeding the day. 218. Okay. So works quite well. Good little example.